For years, he was known as Toronto's fashion Santa, posing for pictures with shoppers at Yorkdale Shopping Centre. But Paul Mason won't be back in that role this year. A different, younger Santa is taking his place. Paul Mason joins me now to talk about this. Paul, thanks for joining us today. Hi, thank you for having me. Was this your choice or theirs? Well, it wasn't my choice. I think it was, uh, it was a, uh, it's a really good question. Uh, I think circumstances made, uh, was the decision factor of, the, of what's happened. Uh, meaning you both decided not to move forward or I know there's a legal challenge in place, it was too complicated to move forward? Well, I think, you know, the actual, what was, uh, the restrictions on my part uh, didn't allow me to move forward. And um, I, I, I want to state my claim to the fact that, you know, unfortunately, here we are in, in, the, in the beginning of the Christmas season and, and we're talking about this, but it's all about intellectual property and my right to, my, to the brand of Fashion Santa, the one I created. I know there's a legal challenge for that right, for the image of Fashion Santa. Uh, tell me a little bit about where you stand with that and what's the argument that you've made here? Well, that's something that uh, I kind of wish not to talk about. That's more on the legal point where I would like, you know, my lawyers would, can deal with that. But um, it's, you know, it's all about intellectual, law, intellectual property law. So um, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay. So let me uh, ask you uh, something about Yorkdale because higher, they have said country. through their people that they reached out a number <laughs> of times to bring you back on board this year, uh, <laughs> but that they weren't able to do that basically in the time that they had because they had to start uh, getting going on the campaign. Is that correct that they did reach out to you? I'm, I'm laughing because I keep hearing this, but as I, you know, keep answering the same type of, uh, saying the type, same type of answer, you know, um, I've been in this business a long time and I've nurtured relationships and I know how to nurture relationships. And if it's by, and it's not by uh, ignoring phone calls or emails. So let that speak for itself. Well, uh, that doesn't answer the question, however, is it, did they call you? Did they call you a number of times to try to bring you back on board? Mm, no. <laughs> no, you didn't hear from them. Um, it was this, it was a set of circumstances that uh, didn't allow this to happen. So you can spin it, or you can you know any way you want. But um, uh, the circumstances didn't permit me to go forward. Can you can you clarify that a little bit for us, for our viewers, no, what what the circumstance time. is? Uh, it's just conditions put on me. Don't forget, you know, I approached I approached. Um, I don't know if you know this, but I approached like four or five retailers at the same time, and uh, Yorkdale being one of them. And so I approached this pitch, and I stand by my intellectual property on the, the fact that I created Fashion Center. Fashion Center is me. It's, it's based on a, a, a character that, you know, I, I lived this model life, and I grew this beard, and I put the two together, and, you know, that's what it is. So, um, yeah. That's how, where we are. How long were you Fashion Santa for, for Yorkdale specifically? Uh, we started the campaign in 2014. So a couple of years. Yeah. And is this the first time uh, you've moved for the intellectual property rights? Well, y y this is the first time, yes. Okay. So what now? What What's this year going to hold for you? What's next year well, going this to hold is, for this you? Well, this is, you know, this is the, uh, based on what this character is all about. One of the, the pillars of the, of, of the pitch was a uh, charity element. And I'll continue to do the charity as, as much as I can. This is where, you know, I reached, you know, last year we had 1.2 billion impressions. And uh, I, you know, created such a fan base that I I'm feel obligated and, and rightfully so looking forward to, to reaching out to, to all the people that I, you know, was in contact last year. Are you disappointed that you're not going to be back uh, in that role specifically at Yorkdale where it was created? Well, yeah, I mean, it's just, a, it's a shame that, you know, here we are at the beginning of the Christmas season, this is what I'm talking about, when I should be talking about raising money for charity and, and the joy of Christmas. All right, uh, last question for you. Are you upset that somebody else has replaced you? <laughs> As I said, I'm going forward with my vision, so I, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, doing what I can. All right, Paul Mason, thanks for coming in today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Take care. Bye. All right. As uh, mentioned, Yorkdale did have a comment about this, a spokesperson saying in a statement, they held off for very late in the season before moving forward with their current campaign, meaning the campaign without Paul Mason, in hopes that Paul would continue to collaborate. The Yorkdale team enjoyed working with Paul, they say, and they remain open to working with him.